Hey guys, so it's mail day today, yay! I have a kit opening of several kits to show you today. My package from Bountiful Baby has arrived, which is amazing because I only brought it last week. And, um, it was Christmas, so I didn't expect it to be this quick. What's this? Well, unfortunately, I live in New Zealand, so I would not be able to come join the party at the Rose Doll Show. Sad face. But I hope everyone that is going can go and enjoy themselves. Um, this is the main reason I made Big Order. I ran out of my mediums. I've got um, very, very little left. I changed all the, the tags. Anyway, so, yeah, I ran out of what I needed and so that is really really handy but of course you know you can't just buy mediums when you're an international person you have to buy babies to make the order worth it my sister is having an allergic reaction or something right now so if you can hear her screaming I'm really sorry um, the poor thing is really upset so oh and don't worry we've got a doctor's appointment for her <laughs> so um this body is just a normal body, um, so that is for my mum, because my mum and my best friend want me to teach them how to paint later into 2016, so that's pretty exciting. So they brought themselves a kit each, and I'm just trying to check, oh here's one. So this one's my mum's, and I've actually painted this before, in 2013, so it's been a very long time since I've seen it. And my best friend, whoa, it looks grey. Uh, my best friend is coming over um, from, well, she's been living in England, but um, she's coming over from Australia very soon because um, she's originally from Australia. And she's bringing her kit that I made her of this. Um, I haven't seen her for a very long time, and it's very exciting to see both the baby and her. So. I'm doing an unorthodox one here because normally I do the heads last, but you guys can see the head first. It's Gemma by Donna Rebert, and it's those horrible limbs that I have done about six times now. So um, they're not horrible to paint, they just I've done them so much that I'm not really interested in them anymore. But, um, I must admit, the last set I did, I really enjoyed. But, um, if I have to do these anytime soon, I would be pretty upset. So I'm glad it's my mum that is doing them. So they're just the limbs sets that we, you can get with Gemma, obviously. Um, Kimmy, Blaze, Rose, and I'm pretty sure there's another one as well. I can't remember off the top of my head, though. Um, that, yeah, and I've done all those kits, so I've done these limbs many times now. My mum is very excited, she's always loved Gemma, so can't wait to see what she comes up with. And then my best friend is doing, ah, oh, here we go, this kit here, <laughs> the one that I live with, my best friend. I have so many good friends, I'm sorry, it must be confusing. Um, she's doing Sweetie by Donna Rabbit as well. And I did these limbs on Tracy. I think they're for Tracy. Yeah, Tracy. And I absolutely love these limbs. They are gorgeous. And I think they're for Crystal as well, are they? Yep, so I've got a set of these as well because I got Crystal. So. As you can see. <laughs> Very, very cute. I don't know why the camera is going grey. Or like this white colour. Do you see that? It's weird. But when I put my hand there... Hmm. I'm not too sure. I'm sorry, guys. It might be just the lighting in here today. It's pretty bright outside. So, very, very chunky. And I won't show you Crystal's limbs since you have already seen them just now. But um, they are full limbs. Um if you put them on the right body otherwise they are full armed and three-fourth legs and I just love these limbs they're so chunky and so sweet I I remember when I made true how much I adored her because of these limbs they're very 
very cute. And then, Sweetie's head. I really wanted to paint this kit myself. I'm so glad my friend is, oh, is doing it. Minus the weird glare on her face. She's so cute. I think it's going to be a girl. I'm not too sure what she's going to do with this. I know it's a bigger kit to start with, but I think my friend will be quite okay with her. She's 21 inches, so not too bad to start with. I actually think that the big kits are easier to work with than the smaller kits because there's the challenge of getting the details to be more accurate for their size. So a bigger baby isn't going to be as much of a stress. That way you can model and all that normally. So that's those two. And then these are the kits that I purchased. So we've got Crystal and we've got Fayenne. So I'm going to start with Crystal because I haven't seen her face. And this is a kit that I fell completely in love with recently after seeing a, an artist make her on Facebook. Um, she's one of those, I think she's, I couldn't pronounce her name. I'm really um, apologetic. I can't actually tell you who it is, but she made this beautiful crystal and I actually thought it was a real baby. Oh, she's cute. Very, very cute. Where are all the eyes that we ordered? Ah, down the bottom. Cool. So, I really, really like her. She is so pretty and I cannot wait to work with her. And the last baby I got was Fei Yin by Cindy Musgrove. And I've never seen this kit before, so I'm going to start with the limbs. As you guys know, I love Cindy Musgrove babies. This glare is driving me nuts. Whoa! Oh my goodness, there is so much detail there. That is just crazy. I was not expecting that. Because you look at that and it's like, you know, there's just fat rolls and then, whoa. Very, very sweet though. I mean, I love Cindy's babies, as you know. So. And then we got a little fish. That's cute. And again, with the wrinkly um, palm. And chubby arm. I'm not too sure what I'm doing with this kit yet. I just wanted to paint it. So I just ordered it. Such a big leg. Oh my goodness. And then, oh look at the little toes being all curled over. That's so cute. Oh, I really like that. And then the other foot. Well, leg I should say. Whoa, this one's chunky. And we've got fat rolls. Those are cute. And then this little foot that's like kind of like that, if that makes any sense, probably doesn't. Like it's perched, so cute. Little chubby feet. Oh yay, and I just knocked that, I'm really sorry guys. Um, and then the head, just put these limbs back in. Da -da, da -da. Well it's not as bad as in person as it looks like in some of the photos. I was a little bit concerned about the head. But I actually really like it. Look at those big ears. They're huge. Very, very cute. And this is the only thing that, yeah, it looks a bit weird on camera. Like you've got those big chubby cheeks. If you hold the baby like that, it looks so cute. And then you've got this little head. It's so cute though. I'm so excited to make this baby. Yay! I've been wanting this baby for a long time. And there's some eyes in here somewhere. So we've got some eyes, some oriental, and some baby brown, and a couple of blue, I think, or a blue set. They're all in there because we were needing some eyes for some kits we got in, and I liked those eyes. So yeah, that was my unorthodox, weird kit opening today for you guys and I hope that you all enjoyed it and these are all going to be 2016 babies so I'm very excited I do not know where I'm going to put them all though because the wardrobe is full so I will have to figure out something very soon 
So thanks for watching guys and I hope you have a great day. Bye!